your favourite Tata has arrived. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hello? Yeah, is that Harry? You said about getting another yard. Is yeah, a yeah, yeah. Your secret squirrels, eh? But you've got to stay tuned to find out what's going on. Yes! Nah, no way. Bro, you're going to think... I don't know what you're going to think. Hold up for me one second. So, this. I can't actually watch it. Buongiorno. Welcome to Scrap Team Diaries, episode no idea, season, I forgot. Today, it's manic. The yard's rammed out of its brains. The prices are well up. We've got five export motor boxes going out. Our first trial load of also Ainy going out. Um, so it's just chaos. Ainy's going back in the office now and do a bit of paperwork. Fortunately for me, your favorite Tata has arrived. <laughs> so I want to leave you guys with Matt for a bit. He's going to show you his load today and show you how he's going to strip it and find out exactly what value he's got on today. A little dicky bird tells me that I'm the entertainment. You are going to have to pull your finger out now, mate, because you've, oh, you've been lacking for three months, and then you have to get back on the pile. Matt's back, and uh, where's Matt been? I'm, I'm going to tell you later, so oh, we'll, we'll get into that in a bit. And, uh... I'll leave you to it, I'm off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so some of you guys haven't met me, and some of you are new to the channel. So first of all, welcome to the channel. This is HW Taroni Metals, the Scrap Kings. Um, trademarked. Trademarked. Let's get that one <laughs> straight in there. But yeah, my name's Matt. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few little things about scrapping. There's gonna be some things that we've probably already covered before. So this will be great and new information to the new people that are following. But also we'll cover some different areas as well. I've just pulled up, we've got our weight. We're now lined up in the pile, ready to empty off. I'm gonna get my cutters out, which are an important tool. And I'm gonna get my ax, and we're gonna get smashing some bits off. We'll get some stripping. And what I mean by that is, we're gonna strip some of the items off. So we have a non-ferrous pile, and everything else gets thrown in the light iron pile. And we'll get paid for our both different things then. Yes. Cutters and an ax. They're a vital part. I do have a grinder and some other bits, and if I need them, I'll come back and get them. But I'm going to need these several times throughout the strip. So let's go. Another thing always worth mentioning is a magnet. This is why a scrap man's best friend is a magnet. You're my best friend. Oh, thank you. I'm your only friend. This will determine whether you've got steel or aluminium. Any non-ferrous, the magnet won't stick. So again, another important tool if your eyes won't do the trick. Let's have a quick look on board at what we've got. And we've done a, a few different house clearances for the council and for a couple of private people as well. There's all sorts of junk in there. Let's get through it and see what we've got. So as you can see, we've got an array of different various items from cookers, washing machines, computers, microwaves, dismantled sheds, household cable, you name it, it's all on here, but we're going to start getting it all off, stripping through it, and seeing where the money's at. Yes! Right, let's make a start. Household cable. So, we'll cut the plug off that, which we actually do at the end, but I'm just showing you now. That will go in as iron aluminium, and that will be household cable. So we'll put this down the side, all of our non-ferrous will go down the side, and all the will go into the pile. And at the end, we'll have a big pile of non-ferrous down here, which will sort into different sections for your copper, aluminium, cable, and so forth. And that then, all them little bits, when you add them together, when we go and weigh them in, that's what makes the big daily wage. Yes. So just a typical steel chair. We'll throw that off into the pile. Mixer in the pile. Household cable, non ferrous, yes! Again, a little bit of steel. Some scrap men might keep bits like this, and it might be worth it. If you've got the time and the storage to sell such an item, then keep it aside, you know. What's, what's a shovel worth, or a couple of shovels, spades, whatever? 
got to be a tenner for a couple, isn't it? You know, I'm not getting a tenner for it by throwing it in the pile. But as I say, I don't have the time and I don't have the storage. Get that! If we look at this here, we've got the magnet sticking here, but not sticking here. So we've got aluminium and we've got steel, which is Iny Alley on the non-ferrous pile. Yes! Last night's dinner bowl. Touch it with a magnet. It's not sticking onto the non-ferrous. That'll be stainless steel. With house clearances, you get so much variation of stuff. I mean, because I've done a couple of house clearances on this one, there's gonna be all sorts of different things that you probably wouldn't normally get. Um, I'm not saying that you wouldn't normally get drills because you do get drills, um, but just random things like door locks, tools, toaster, battery charger, old jet wash, that kind of stuff. So it's a mixed array of stuff. And it's very important to go through it all so you don't miss no valuable items. A metal housing of a plug or a socket, shall I say. In there, you've got some brass, some little bits of cable and stuff. So that'll go as Iny Alley as well. Something like this, if you broke this open, there will be a little motor in the bottom of there. But the time and effort they will take to get that out is just not worth my time. So that will go onto the pile today. And we'll put the cable down there. And we always check tins and stuff like this, especially on the house clearances, because you'll be amazed what you find. In that case, all. Here's, here's another good one. Bench and table ends. Now they're cast iron, them ones are. So they're really heavy and robust. And if they're in a very good condition like that and not fall into pieces, it's always worth putting them aside. Um, because you can get good money for them selling them. There's people out there that like to restore this kind of stuff and to restore it, it's only a bit of timber and a little, little lick of paint and then they're worth good money. You're probably looking at about 40 or 50 quid for a set of them, so it's definitely worth putting stuff like that aside. Nice little find there. Yes! Old Rover biscuit tins. I'm sure there's probably there's people that see me gonna throw off some tins today that'll be like, oh, that's worth some money that is because it's old and stuff, but the biscuits are in there, so it holds no value to me whatsoever. Hello? Yeah, is that Harry? Yeah, can you send me the price list, please, mate? Obviously today's. Obviously today's. Thank you. Oh. But Harry's just messaged with the prices. I've just sent him here. Oh. oh, so what we got here then? So we got dry bright wire, 6,100. New copper tube, 6,050. But, but before you read the whole list out, I will say this is, I'd like to call this top tatter prices. You know what I mean? Loyalty customers, that's what it's all about. High prices. Brasery at 5,000. But on the brasery, right, is a fing generic term for like dirty copper so your brazier could be worth more it's just quality depending it so actually if you could think be worth you've got a good well. brazier see them at the window ask them to come out have a look at it and they may be able to alter the 5150 pound price that's stated here the battery is the only thing that's actually dropped 555 pound a ton but it's still, ton. it's still good money yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still good money and then it's £275 a ton for the brake discs. Which is quite so, funny, actually, because I haven't sold any, right? I actually have no idea what they're worth. There is no export market for them at the minute, and there's a few foundries that are just, like, very slow on the orders, so we just stockpiling them. I bet you we've got 300 tonnes of brake discs in the bay. So if anybody wants to buy brake discs off me, please let me know, because I want to get rid of them. The yard is manic at the minute, so it's a bit all over. So those prices that Max just quoted are top tasser prices. If you're a merchant or you've got someone that's got I'd say more than like a tatter would have on his van. Tons of anything. There is room for manoeuvre, but I'm not going to take less money out of a smaller amount of material. I want to get, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here's a question for you. Why is the pile so small today? Why have you got rid of a load? We have got a, not a night shift, but like just after we shut now, we've got a couple of lads that come in, use the claims to shear, and they have a few hours and they tidy everything up. So every single evening now, all the light iron is processed, made into one and two, ready for today to be sold. So today I'm hoping to do about 
150 tonne today, all about eight Arctics. And that's allowing you to get more customers in exactly, as well, mate. Yeah, we had to make the adjustment and get more. It's an investment, really. Now we've got two more lads' wages, the maintenance, the fuel, all that stuff for the cranes, all that's happening. But we are producing so much more scrap now, allowing more customers to come in. this. Am I right in saying on one of the episodes you said about getting another yard? Is there yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, uh, we've, actually, we've actually just put a bid in uh, and it's been accepted. It's been accepted. It's been accepted, but obviously that doesn't really mean anything until you've got the keys in your hand, so there's no point showing off and talking about it until we get it. And what, what does that mean if you had the keys in your hand tomorrow, for argument's sake? Still going to be six months, we've got to build it. Yeah, I know. Do all the walls again, yeah. all that sort of stuff, so yeah. Good. And, still and is stop. everything there ready for the investment to go, go, go? Yeah, we've got loads of money, man. Straight up, <laughs> scrap kings. <laughs> scrap <laughs> kings, kings right. no, but even down to that, they were still waiting for uh, uh, talks with finance people, waiting for solicitors to sort out the payment, making sure that we get the correct loads of stuff. You know, if yeah, you've watched this, you bought a house before, you know, how stressful Definitely. and hard work. That side of it can be the legal side of it. And are we local to here? Yeah, yeah, it's quite, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't say too much, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's all right, but I'm not sure what we're going to use it for yet. Uh, so what special rights will I get then? Because obviously there'll be no queues then. What, what will I get might then? Might not even have scrap there. Wow. Might not even have scrap there. So we don't know yet. Can't say too much. Oh, secret squirrels, eh? But you've got to stay tuned to find out what's going on with HW Taroni Metals, the, the Scrap Kings. We've, tra yes. we've trademarked it. Tra I know, yeah? I'll get you a sticker. So what, what for? What for what? What did you trademark it for? So then if anyone says I'm the Scrap King, I'm going to say lol. <laughs> no, you're not. Legally, I am. That's f we can do about it, that's it. <laughs> Ego in now. It's just, it's, just it's just a vanity thing. Got a certificate and that on the wall, have you? Yeah, I got the lap, mate. You got Lovely. full government official things. And what you say about sticker, eh? You got some stickers? Not yet, but I will do. Just sticker bomb everything, can it? Oh! Let's get some stickers done, and then we can, like, do what. We can, like, honestly, like, copy pubes now. Yeah, you we'll, can like, go for fing pubes. And we'll. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll batter all pubes and wagons and just. I might. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder how much trouble I'm getting for just actually stealing one of his lorries and just wrapping it. It's worth a, it's worth a shot, isn't it? It's worth, it's worth a weekend. <laughs> wrapping it. It's worth a weekend at HMP, isn't it? It's, it's got to be done. Wrapping it into a wall or wrapping it in vinyl? No, no, vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, so I'm going to check the motor boxes. We've got a load of bales going out. All going on. Hurry up, Matt. Boys are going down. All the time you finish. Hey, up, up. They only go up here, mate. So here we have it. All the gearboxes. In that pile, there is going to be a few ton of steel block engines and uh, stripped engines that we're going to have to pull out. So I'm just hoping, it's quite a lazy thing for me to do, really. I've tipped it all there, and then I was just going to hope that the crane can just go straight from there into the box. So fingers crossed it works. If not, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. What's in your ear? So the wind up there. It is killing me, man. Why? Listening to me too much? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so I'll just talk softly to you. I'm go on. As, as, do you do it after the five? Do you want to do a tattoo? Yeah. Tick, tick. Yeah, man, fine. Yeah. Now you got to have H T. No, I'm going to have H T. No, no, I'm going to have S K. S K? Yeah. Scrap King. No, do that on the end one. Scrap King. No, I have another kid, you know what I mean? I'm going to have three. Yeah, you got another panel. No way, mate, no more. No more, man. No more kids? No, not, not yet. How many boxes have we got there? I've got 100 ton of motors there. Marquito, nice man, nice. Oh no, look who it is in the, in the queue. I'm surprised you've not pushed in. I'm surprised you've not pushed in. You've actually queued for once. Oh yeah, we've had two of them today, mate. Locked up, man. It's all going on today. Oh, and your pal's in. Who? Your competitor. Who? Um, Matt. Is <laughs> He's in, yeah. He's in. He's in. What you got on? Heavy shearing? That's about 12 bands in the queue. Oh, man. Jeff Edge! Oh, God. Yeah, so this is like one of the main reasons why we get the second yard, because we've run out of space. Yeah. Ran out of space, ran out of like hours in a day to get everybody in. You know, and they always say that the best thing to do to grow your business is invest in your business, so we're going to go, bosh. We just love, we thrive off stress. Okay, so I'm going to sort the paper out. Go and, go and make sure Matt's not licking some, like, shell. And then uh, I'll come back over. Scrap paying! I was just saying, Will, I am. Coventry scrap man. We're not even halfway through yet, but if you take a look, I mean, there's not a great deal, but there's a hell of a lot of household cable that we've got down there. 
a few little bits, brake discs. By the time we've got through it all, there'll be all sorts of motors and all sorts of stuff in there. But as we get there, I'll show you what we've got and we'll have a look at how much we get for it and we'll see how much we get for the whole day as well. She's been giving me stick for ages to get her a new cooker. Saying that this one's old and worn, but you know, it's usable. I don't know what she's been moaning about, but anyway, she's been moaning for the past sort of 12 months or so. And this week I actually caved in and I got her a new one. But I still think there's some life left in this. I'm reluctant to get rid of it, but I'm not the boss, unfortunately. What a waste. I hope you're happy now, love. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> Old letter plates. Again, we get a magnet. Magnet won't stick. Nice, good lumps of brass they are. And they're quite heavy. You know, I'd probably say there's definitely a kilo there anyway. £3.75 instead of it being there. It's going down there. There's a few more of them in there as well. Yes! Woo! Come on! <laughs> Nearly caught me slipping then. If you are new to the channel and you want to see some of our old videos where I feature in there, I mean, there's a couple we go out scrapping with Harry and Rich. They're always worth sort of scooting back and going and watching some old videos. You'll see what I'm about and um, you'll see some of the things that we've not covering today because we've already covered it. But yeah, I'm sure Will, the main man behind the camera, is going to put a little thing up now and that will enable you to press it and go back and watch some previous episodes. But don't forget to come back here to see what we get for this. I got some cable. Oops. Did that make me look hard? Come on! Hard. Hard to get out of bed in the morning, I know that much. <laughs> and sometimes when I get out of bed, I'm hard. No, it's because your, your bedroom is full of pictures of dry bright. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, they're not quite dry anymore, but yeah. <laughs> Steel. Perfectly working. Those era. Nice little brass container. Probably worth something to someone, that is. But to me, it's worth non ferrous. Yes! Brass. I wonder whether that was the silver spoon that Harry and Rich was brought up on, eh? We don't know. And you know what? I'm going to take that comment back here, actually. I'm all, I'm all for a little bit of banter, but them boys both f***ing graft. And they graft hard, and they, they earn every f penny that they've got around them, so... Yes! It's me after 10 years of scrapping. <laughs> Come on with the cocktail shaker. Yeah, man. So here, we've got a small tumble dryer, and my rule of thumb is, if it's got a metal bottom on there, I don't bother taking the motor out. I just throw it straight onto the pile. It's not worth the time and effort for me to get that out, so another little tin. Oh. Nah. No way. Bro, you're going to think. I don't know what you're going to think. Oh, it's broken, but. Bro. Correct me if I'm wrong. Does that say Rolex on there? It does. Nice. Look what else we got. Another one of them like printed. Oh, never mind that. There's a couple, basically there's a couple of bits of brass and a silver spoon there. But look at that. Rolex. Now I know a specialist. Actually, I real talk, I know a specialist will. And if you don't mind, once we're done with this lot, we're gonna go and take it and uh find out. I mean the stamps, there's codes. There's even a, the badge. I mean, I don't know enough about this, Will, to be able to say whether or not that's real, but it's a bit funny how it's in a precious metal tin with precious metals in there. Rolex, Oyster, Submarina. I've heard of that. Bro, I've heard of that. Rolex in the scrap. Come on, Rolex, yes! Zipper up, buttercup. Cable, at over two grand a ton. We'll have some of that straight in my basket. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a couple more appliances left where we've just got to knock the motors out of the bottom of there. 
Um, but you've seen it all before, and if you haven't, refer back to this video here and see a hell of a lot of stripping and a complete breakdown of it. But we've got a massive pile here. I'm just gonna knock these few motors off, add them to the pile, and then we're gonna go through that and we'll see what we've got. What, Danny? She just loves staples. I just go through them because I'm working so hard. Oh. Flat out. Flat out. Just banging away all day. Hey, Rich. It's never far away, is it? What's up? It's, it's always around, isn't it? What? Well. <laughs> no staples here. Pardon? No staples here. No, oh, God. There's no fixing you down, is there? Do you want to put that back for you? Yeah. No, he wants it. He wants it close by, to, like to hand, don't you? It's a nice um, trombone, trumpet thing out there. Yeah. You could do a story with it. I, I, I could, yeah. If you get a content for him. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Anyway, good chat, man. Let's go. Don't see the there. Bit of proof. Everything. Trademarks registry, registration certificate, trademark act of 1994. I suppose today. I certify that the marks shown below have been registered as a series of two marks under UK, God knows loads of numbers, effective, out of date. Da -da -da. Oh, Adam Williams has signed it off. Represent, rep, I can't speak. Representation of marks. Mark one, the Scrap Kings. Mark two, Scrap Kings. Mm. Scrap King Harry Tarone. It's just fantastic. I need to get on the wall. Let me just enjoy my lovely lunch that all of you guys are so keen to see me eat. Uh, ASMR eating or OnlyFans eating. Instead of selling feet pics, just sell pics of me eating food. Go on then. Oh my God, son. Just super health, man. Muscle, muscle building food. You eat like a peasant every time I see you. That's done me a big favour today while coming in and showing you guys some more about the tatting side of the scrapyard. Because it's been chaos. We've still got two more boxes to do, and the customers have been queuing up all day, and it's been non stop. I've just, yes. just managed to have my first bite to eat all day. And even I'm having to queue to get into the shed, but I've got some non ferrous sorted out in piles on the back. Shall we go and have a look, H? Mm -hmm. You guys? Yeah, man. You got to yeah. say? Come on, guys. Let's grab one, here. This one? Yeah. yeah. Hold that for me one second. So. <laughs> so, to be fair, cable today, Matt, 2.15 a kilo in your household. Well, you've already got the price on your phone, haven't you? But you've done all that already. Oh, yeah. I've got the very best prices, which I appreciate. The only problem is there's no copper on it. There is no copper, and I thought this. There is not one little piece of copper on here. Yeah, so as well, bro, what do you, do you buy these? We do buy them, right? Because I don't, and they are worth, don't they are, the yeah, they are so. worth a lot of money, okay? But you need millions of them. Yeah, so I know actually, what you mean. So if you can save them, then do that. But we don't tend to, we don't like, well, what, if say they're worth 15 pound a kilo, for example, and there's 35 grams there. <laughs> No, I've got, I've got a fair few up the top of the yeah, van just, there, just, but just save I'm going to keep get... saving them. When I get a bucket load, bring them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do that for you. But then, so like, even that with a bucket load, like you get five kilos of them, all right, say it's worth 150 quid or whatever. They just sat in the office then for six months until I get like, enough to actually run in. So what we need to do then is we need to tell the people about these and how much you pay for them, because I don't know how much I pay for them. we're going to get people I coming and bringing you some. I don't, I don't taste them because, like I say, someone's on a phone up, I've got loads of these ram things they're gonna land here and there's gonna be nine <laughs> and i'm gonna be like oh 150 grams worth of tenner mate and i've got 17 of them lying around the i feel like the reason that you haven't got many of them lying about is because you're not advertising do you know what we're very we're very good at what we do yeah sometimes it's actually too much to be a what do they call it jack of all trains master of none so we focus on the big scrap very good at it small scrap leave it to the lads Tell you who's good for that, SJA. This is a good thing for that. All over Snapchat. Yeah. He'll look after you on them. Yeah, well, there we go. You're not selfish. If you've got a, a, a part of your business that you're good at, I'll like, you know what I mean? Let's go. Especially for the quality of cable and now stuff that you're Yeah, 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 all right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Wow. Where did that come from? Look at the copper coming out of them fing things. Maybe all right. That's only a ton. Please don't drop that. Please don't drop it. Oh, oh, this. I can't actually watch it. 
Oh, thank God, man. Rolex? Who's got a Rolex? Matt. Matt's Rolex that you found. He's found a Rolex. That is one thing that, is one thing that we do do at Tyranny Metals. We buy absolutely anything. Anything at all. Gold, silver, platinum, iridium, rhodium. So yeah, like, actually, we've got no gold chain on the way in. Bash on the man. Matt! Well, that said, you found a Rolex? See, I weren't going to tell you, bro. Nah, I was. I was going to tell you on the bridge. You I, love I was joking, look. I love my watches. Oh, it's scrap, man. And it's definitely fake. We, we, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll buy any Rolex. Great, get them down. Second hand brand new, my Rolex, you know what I mean? Let's get them in. Unfortunately, Matt, that is a fake watch. Nah, we know it was, mate. We was going to play a little game with it and that, but um, I know, but you, you, you beat can't, me to you it. You can't kill a kidder, man. I'm f***ing switched along the ball. Well, nice one. Oh, Harry, do us a favour. Give that back to Rich, please. What, it's Rich? What are you going to try and like... Oh, my God, man. Yeah, look at this. This, 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 this is what I was moaning about last week. So the, the never-ending the never ending pile. What, what we need is, yeah, bring in six cousins, two hours, bosh. It oh. never seems to move, does it? So here we've got some household cable, high grade, because I've stood out there whilst I was waiting and cut all the plugs off. And that's all the aluminium. 61 kilos. Yes. So next up, we've got the car batteries, weighing in at 51 kilos. Yes. Now we go for the motors, and that weighs in at 23 kilos. Yes. Next up, we've got irony aluminium. One minute, you all right? It's heavy, man. So there we go, we have 238 kilos of irony aluminium. That's near on quarter of a ton. 238 kilos, not bad at like near on 400 quid a ton. Yes! And here we have eight kilos of stainless steel. Next up, we've got a bit of brass. And that brass is weighing in at eight kilos. Yes. Well, there we have all of our non-ferrous guys. We hope you enjoyed that little part of the, um, of the weekly. And we're going to go around now to the ticket office. We're going to get our ticket and we'll see exactly how much we've got for it all. Hello, sir. So we're just at the ticket office now. We've got our, our weight after all the metal's been taken off. We're just waiting for Harry now to do all the hard work and push a couple of buttons and give us a ticket to say exactly how much we've earned today. I have actually double tickled. Hello, David. Yes, Harry. David right. Fridge, man, that's what we call you. Dave the Moat. Always a good man. Yeah. Why are you just ignoring yeah. me walking up? It's, 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 it's him. him. It's him. He's always a tenner short every, every time. Yeah. Anyway, man, Fridgy what do you think you got? Fidgety, don't say. What do you reckon you got? Well, I roughly, I've got an idea because I've just weighed in the non-ferrous, but you know how it goes, bro. These guys have got to wait until next week. <laughs> so we've done a little thing where we've, we've well, weighed no, the non-ferrous no, in, we've told them exactly per kilos what the non-ferrous side of it That's is. Giving you a little bit more as well. Have you? Respect, bro. No, bang on, lads. See Have a good day. Yeah, thanks, we'll man. speak to you soon. So as you know, guys, I'm not going to reveal this week exactly what we've got for the non-ferrous, but we will be doing that next week at the start of next week's show. So be sure to tune in to next week's show where we reveal the non-ferrous. Yes! Either of you seen Harry? No, no. No? Rich, have you seen Harry? No, but no doubt he's done it somewhere again. Good luck finding him. Thanks. <laughs> Sean, have you seen Harry? Yeah, there he is. Oh, there you are. Ah! There you are. Hello there. I'm just doing some revision for my Whamatab refresher course tomorrow. Uh, on the genetic, generic <laughs> environmental protection. So, what better place to do it than in the middle in front of a pile of scrap? F***ing lovely. Yeah, so tomorrow, wish me luck, I'll be trying not to just... Cry. <laughs> cry. Yeah. I've got to sit in the classroom all day. Ugh. So Richard did his lot last year. I'm going to do mine this year. 
So then we always have like a year overlap of one of us having the same qualifications on site. It's just like... Is that in case you fail? Pardon? Is that in case you fail? I won't fail. I won't fail. Ah. But like, I am... Um, this is like my worst nightmare is sitting in a classroom all day. I don't care how much coffee I've had, within seven minutes, I'll be like, oh, Anyway, I've got some comments for you to Comments? Read. Can we go in? It's raining. Can we go inside? Yes. Okay. Wouldn't want your book to get wet. No, I need this. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll get in the van. I'll, I'll oh. jump out. And okay. Hide, hide, Will. Hide, hide, hide. <laughs> oh my god, Dave. Dave the fridge, man. Dave the fridge, that was underwhelming. <laughs> right then, let's find somewhere. So you got some comments, Willie. Let's hit on some starters and all stages and get this thing going. Ooh. Hi. What brings you around here? That was a good starter. <laughs> <laughs> comments, right. Jason Alexander. Jace, I know who you are because you come every day. I have six cylinders that have been devalved. Would you take? Or would you want them cut in half? And if you would, uh, would you get shit? Yes, you would. Right, okay, so gas canisters, right? Like the octocetylene bottle over there, it's thick steel, right? So it's good stuff. However, the, the value and the weight and all that sort of thing, I just don't want to take them anymore. I don't want to take one. Because if you've, if you've cut like a 50 pence piece hole in a bottle that size, unless you like obviously thoroughly check it, you might not see it, even if the valve has been took off, because sometimes they have pressure in, I'm not too sure, so I'd rather not have them. So chopped in half would be okay. Chopped in half is okay, or like, I'm talking a proper iPhone size hole in the, you know, something that you cannot miss, and then I'll, then I'll have them. Jacob Warner, 8705, got a question about the skips. Do you tip them yourself in house, or do you go to a third party? We'd love to see the process of where the stuff from the skip goes. Um, I actually have spoke to uh, a friend of mine who, has a massive waste plant. They are keen, I spoke to them the other day, they're keen to actually have us come down and they can show us uh, what happens to household waste. They've just had a massive new plant installed a couple of years ago, like the biggest one in the UK, and it does like absolutely everything. So I think that'd be a really, really interesting video, although it's not scrap related. So please, actually, if that's something that you guys would be interested in, please drop a comment and I'll get that organised because it's only down the road. Uh, Christ, this is a big one. That's what she said. Hey! No one's ever said that to me. <laughs> Was was Andrew 8202? Uh, has Rich put the pigeon down? Yeah, he had it in his hand in the last video. No, it's, uh, it's on my desk in the office. He wants it close by. I had a sh day, guys. Your video really cheered me up no end. My first job, age 16, was in a scrap metal warehouse. I would crop solder joints, hand clean mountains of Ali with just an axe. Smelt Ali ingot. So my dad used to have an Ali uh, smelting machine, to be fair, years and years and years ago. But apparently, he was saying, back in the day, technology's probably moved on from this. But if you got water in it, and then like lit it up or something, so obviously, Eight. It would explode and someone lost a lot of hair. Oh, I've only got arthritis in A59. Hey, listen, at 59, mate, you've still got a lot of go in you. I know a lot of 59 year olds still flying the flag, mate. Don't worry about that. What, Rich? Rich ain't 59 yet, but you may as well be. <laughs> no, no, look, listen, if we can make it, if, if our videos cheer anybody up, it's just a double win, isn't it? You know, we put these out there to be marketing for ourselves and also if we can do it in a way that people actually enjoy to watch as well at the same time, that's just a double whammy for us. So no, we're happy with that, about that, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks for the comment. Butler 297, I can see the cat office being a nice little cafe. Ooh. Our yard, it's so busy to have people do the scrap and then queue up to wait for a coffee or something, the congestion would just be outrageous. So yeah, the cut off is, I'm not, the, there'll be no caffeine in there anytime soon. That pigeon's like the mascot now from Bob Jenkins. The pigeon, I don't want the pigeon to be the mascot of HM20 Moles. Why? Because it's a pigeon. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, can I have a cooler animal? There's loads of, there's like dragons and stuff on the bass wall. Can I use one of them instead? I'm not having the pigeons as a mascot, simple as that. <gasps> Although, we could get a pigeon costume. Ooh, most catering tables are made from 430 grade frames and 304 grade tops, unless specified for the customer. From user RM1JF1Q05G. <laughs> yeah, like, obviously, I don't know how the food industry, catering stuff works. However, I've got a friend who runs Lordwell Catering. Lord, that's, my phone has not stopped ringing since we started this. Jamie, Jamie Honey, uh, I love watching both of you guys, but watching Richard cracks me up. He's so awkward on camera. Hash, uh, brackets, love you, Rich. 
He is awkward on camera, and I actually think, right, over the couple of years that we've been doing this, he's got a lot better at it, but he actually likes the fact that people think he's awkward, so he sticks with it. That's what I think. Lord Malgray, <laughs> hunt the pigeon each episode. <laughs> uh, we could put, like, the pigeon in the background of a uh, clip, and then whoever can comment and find it, something like that, That's little composition, yeah. Uh, do we recycle fire extinguishers? If yes, could you show us how we deal with them? No, we don't. Uh, they are sealed units again. However, if we do find the odd one in the scrap and it's full, for example, we actually keep it. Although they're not probably legally safe, because the fire extinguishers have sell-by dates, right? Or like use-by dates or whatever. I couldn't care less about that. If there's a fire going on, I want to use the one. I want to use anyone that's full. Do you know what I mean? I've got pressure, then bar straight up. Oh, what's this one? Oh, yeah. Definitely see a bromance reveal revealing with Will and Harry. Revealing? We've had one for years. <laughs> First the Philip Schofield pun, then the fixating on camera, keep smashing the brilliant vlog guys, glad you're good and weren't affected by the fires yet. That was a different yard, so it did nothing to do with us. Well, what? obviously if anybody followed my Instagram yeah. that watches this, at Harry Taroni, they would have seen my story today of me showing your beautiful, kind of not beautiful hair off. Pass me the camera. Come on, Will, right. reveal, like, reveal yourself. Re it looked like Eminem that was, that, like, you know. It's frosty tip, isn't it? What's wrong with it? You're like an old, you're like a, you're like a fully grown bloke, man. Oh, got a bit of tie swarf on me. You can't start frosting your hair, man. Turn around, look, show in the back. Yeah, but that, that, I'm getting a haircut, so that bit will go. <laughs> nice tan. When are you going to get a tan? It's March. You're going on some bed later. Oh, 10 minutes. <laughs> 14. I mean, it's. I mean, it was. It would be cool if you were not at seventeen. I am. So stone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Have you got any more comments? Have you got any more comments? I don't know. Did you read them all? Or anyway, when just... I was when I was taking the mic out well earlier, you were saying, why don't we ask everyone if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll frost tip to my hair. Yes. So you won't get it. Yeah, you will. Nah. A thousand likes. A thousand likes. Please, please. Thousand likes. That's easy. I'll come in, bring the cap. Perfect. Thousand likes, I'll do it. There we go. Problem is that I'll probably really suit me and everyone will be like, actually, that's yeah, really good, man. Do you want me to do your, um, oh. <laughs> Some more comments. Place in Wensbury that takes lithium ion batteries. You know what? That'd be a sick video that would to go actually go to someone that recycles them. We need to research that and do some contact in and ask them if we can come. Because we have spoke to somebody that recycles Auto Iron Alley in the UK and they have invited us up to... They literally make their own ingots out of gearboxes. So that'd be a... Like, I think these sort of videos would be cool, but a lot of effort for us. I'm going to leave the yard for the day, go up to like wherever and then film. Um, but if you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments and then I can get and this let us stuff. know where it is as well. Where? I, well, I did try and find it and but, tried to call them. Yeah, but there'll be a few. There'll be a few. Yeah, so we need to know which one we can go to. Oh. Get in there. Anyone's got any links for lithium iron recyclers? Oh, nobody, nobody has commented about the hydrogen thing from last week. Yeah, we had two comments about it being clickbait. It wasn't clickbait, the f over there. They are literally. They're literally in hydrogen. eyesight. And if you put that through the shear, it's a bomb. <laughs> you can't say that. Why? You can't. So, yeah, should we sign out? We should. This is the ending, it's not a starter. Wish me luck for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm dreading it. I'm going to sit in an office all day. Uh, start early. <laughs> I do start Make early, that's not a problem. I uh, never really have a plan. Remove, know what the, remove distractions, so don't take your phone. Anything is a distraction for me, though. Don't go through your revision books, man, look at my notes. Anyway. That's the first time those pages have been opened. Shush. Like, share, subscribe. Wish me luck. See you in the next episode. So like, share and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Done. Sold. Perfect. Um, but yeah, tune in in a minute and we will. Nah, nah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate doing that because you've got a little something on me there, isn't you? Yep. <laughs> yep.